Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Now, today I'm coming to you from uh, nowhere particularly that special actually, just my office. But the topic of conversation for today's video is pretty cool. And I'm sure you looked at the title and thought, what the? Well, just give me a chance, would you? Today's topic is the Canon 80D better than a 4K camera. I can almost hear the laughter and the judgments. Just share with me your comments below though after the video. Let me know what you think after you've watched this all the way through. And I think I might have changed some minds by the end of the video. Let's see how it goes. Now before I shock you with more details of why I think it's better than a 4K camera, just hit that subscribe button and then click the notification bell and you'll be first in line for new videos and new releases every single week. Okay guys, let's jump in. If you're watching this right now, there's a very good chance that you're interested in photography. You may be a photographer, you may be in the market for a camera, you could be a video creator, or you could be a YouTuber, which is pretty cool, right? But if this is the case, and you are a video creator or a YouTuber, you're gonna know how much work goes into creating a video. A lot, believe me. Just to give you a quick overview of what goes into this, so let's say you start, maybe you've got a script or a plan which you're working on, and that can sometimes be written many, many times. You don't always nail that one first time. And then you have to go on to, you know, what equipment you're gonna use for your video. So you have to look around the equipment, you have to set it up, which takes time. Then it's the shoot. Then you have to look at all the camera angles which you're gonna use in the video. You don't just want one camera angle all the way through the video. That gets boring. And then you have to think about if you're shooting on location, where you're gonna go. You have to type in and look for different locations. Then if you've got a collaboration, you have to think about the other person and how the collaboration is gonna work and then what the collaboration is gonna entail. And the list goes on and on, I promise you. And then right at the end of this, you have video editing. This is the most important aspect of the whole process, in my opinion. And that's because without the video editing, it would just look like a whole mess. And you guys wouldn't even really wanna watch the video. This segues nicely into what is the most important asset of a video creator and a YouTuber. And that is time. Don't just take my word for it though. I mean, look at all the successful people that have walked the face of our planet. They've all banged on about how important time is and what an important asset it was to them. Think about it after all, you can't buy time, but you can pretty much buy any other asset. So, okay, how does this fit in with the Canon 80D and the 4K conversation on the topic? Well, for me, it fits in just perfectly. Time is my most important asset, and I value my time greatly. So if I can kind of cut down the amount of time I'm using or taking up so that I can get a procedure or something done quicker, then to me, that's just gold. And for me, this is the video editing process. If I was to be video editing in 4K, it would make a big difference to my edits. It would slow down the whole process. In fact, if you want 4K to work for you properly, you've got to own a beast of a computer or laptop, and this is gonna set you back thousands and thousands of pounds. And let's be honest, we haven't all got thousands of pounds to throw at a computer. So for me, 1080p works just fine. It keeps my video editing quick, and it means that I haven't got to deal with more exporting time, lag, and also taking longer to do video edits. Now I feel like I should add in here a uh, disclaimer, um, but don't judge me. I do own a 4K camera. Yes, I do. But this 4K camera is never used for its 4K capabilities. <laughs> Let me explain this one. So the 4K camera I own is an Osmo DJ Pocket. I recently got it, but I got it for how convenient it is. It's a tiny little thing, like the name implies, you can fit it in your pocket, you can pull it out, and you can just start filming. It's incredible for B-roll and just shooting vlogs on the go. So that's the reason that I use the DJ Osmo Pocket. Now if you wanna find out more about this, you've heard about it mentioned, I'm sure you have, then all you need to do is click directly above my head right now. You're gonna see a card appear, click on that, and I've done a review on this product, so you can check it out there. Another reason I choose the Canon 80D over a 4K camera is because nearly everyone still shoots in 1080p. And that might surprise you, but it's true. Nearly all the videos you watch on YouTube are shot in 1080p. Now, of course, there are exceptions, and there still are plenty of people out there shooting in 4K, but not everyone can watch in 4K. 
So when I think about saving time on editing and I think about the quality of video which is out there, which is 1080p, these are two strong reasons which leave me in favor of the Canon 80D over a 4K camera. So the first one is dual pixel focus. Now this is so important to me, but why is it so important? Well, just imagine this. Imagine you've been growing your subscriber count and everything's been going really well for you on YouTube. And then suddenly you land a big interview and you know this could be really good for your channel. You set up your camera gear, you get everything in place, you film the video, everything seems to have gone perfectly, only to find out that your camera has missed focus. Wow, that would be bad news. But the good news is with a Canon 80D and the dual pixel focus, that's never gonna happen. And don't just take an interview and a studio basis, think about it from a vlogging basis as well. Every time you set up that camera, the Canon 80D for video, you're gonna know that it's hitting focus every time like a pro. Reason number two, and this is the one which is a little bit more secretive and not well known, is Canon's color science. Now you may not have heard about this. Canon's color science is amazing, but what does it mean if you don't know? Well, it basically means the representation that the Canon shows of the color that it records. So for instance, what you're seeing now, even though that's controlled by white balance, Canon's really good at manipulating that and then just getting the realistic looking color into the camera. Now, other brands are also quite good at this as well, but nowhere gets close to Canon. Next in line, you're looking at Nikon, closely followed by Fuji. And the 4K monsters, which have been releasing 4K everything lately and been selling loads and loads of cameras, Sony are actually lagging right behind when it comes to color. Their color is still really not even close to Canon's. So maybe I've convinced a few of you after sharing these details that the Canon 80D is not only an awesome camera, but it competes more than good enough with 4K cameras as well. And in my opinion, it's definitely better in some aspects. But if you're not convinced, don't worry. Everyone has a personal opinion on these things and it's okay to share opinions and share our thoughts. Sounds a bit like a cop out that, doesn't it? <laughs> At the end of the day, the three most important parts of videography to me are time, focus, and reliability. The Canon 80D hits all of these spot on. So I don't imagine myself getting rid of this as a video camera anytime soon. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Now remember, I'd love to hear your opinions on what you thought of this video. And more importantly, do you now have a changed opinion on the Canon 80D and the 4K cameras? Leave me some comments in the description area below and then we can talk about this after the video. Remember to hit subscribe and click the notification bell to be first in line for new releases every single week. Whatever you do today, guys, I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video.